With the release of Spongebob Sponge on the Run, we now have three Spongebob movies, so today I thought it was time for me to stop and rank all three Spongebob movies from the worst to the best. Hey everyone, s -Dub Nation here, and welcome back to a brand new ranking here on the channel. Please know that everything that I will say in this video is just my very own opinion. My list is certainly not the right list, it's just my list. You are free to comment down below your ranking of all three Spongebob films, ranked from the worst to the best just like me, or you could just do your favor. Also, please check out my Twitter, that's going to pop up on your screen right now. You guys can also check out my review for Spongebob, Sponge on the Run, right there up above. Like, comment, and subscribe, and without further ado, let's just get right into the ranking. Kicking off my list at number three has got to go to the Spongebob movie, Sponge on the Run. This film isn't terrible, but it definitely has many problems. For positives, the animation is beautiful. I really did love the animation here. This new 3D design, though 2D is superior. I did like the 3D animation style. And the flashback scenes at Camp Coral, though very retconny, and it was very clear that the scenes were just serving as a backdoor pilot for the spinoff of the same name, Camp Coral. I still kind of felt a little bit emotional seeing Spongebob and Patrick meet for the first time and just Spongebob being this kind person. I really did love that. But the middle half is just useless with zombie cowboys dancing with Snoop Dogg rapping. And let's not forget the Sage character with Keanu Reeves. They just kind of overdid it with the cameos inside of this film. Also, this film really didn't need to be theatrical and that's not a good thing. Also, the story is very familiar, but I didn't think that that was a big flaw. The film is fine for Spongebob fans, people like me, but for anybody else, I say it's an easy skip. My runner-up at number two has got to go to the Spongebob movie Sponge Out of Water. I love this film. I saw it in theaters when it first came out, and I even remember all the teasers and the trailers. I remember the posters that premiered like a year before the film came out. I was there. I saw the new Spongebob movie posters, which I guess I have a lot of nostalgia for all of that. And I just remember leading up to it, how we got cheated when they advertised the entire film just as the out of water scenes like we saw spongebob and patrick as like superheroes that was pretty cool to me that was my main draw to the film i wanted to see that and yeah we did kind of get a little bit cheated the film only had 32 minutes of those said scenes but i did like the story here it's a nice little you know who did it story uh where's the secret formula i like the fact that the secret formula is a central part inside of the story which is very good and very classic spongebob to me and the transition from land to sea was actually pretty enjoyable the 2d scenes were way more clever as well as better than the land scenes in general the problems that i have with this film is the fact that i just wanted to see more scenes on land but it is a good thing that they did not overdo it. I feel as though 40 minutes on land could have been better, but 32 minutes on land, you know, as long as they didn't overdo it. And let's not forget about the CGI with, like, the characters being in real life. I thought all of that was handled perfectly well. But coming in at my number one has got to go to the SpongeBob SquarePants movie. I mean, come on. You had to know going into this that this film was going to be number one. We all have nostalgia for this film. We all remember staying up until 6 to 8 p.m. on a Friday night and on the Nickelodeon channel to watch the SpongeBob SquarePants movie. We all remember those days. And let's not forget, we all remember this sound. So many memories. This film had no right being as good as it is. Steven Hillenburg, the director, also the creator of Spongebob R.I.P., they did a nice little tribute for him in Sponge on the Run. Steven Hillenburg directed this film at the height of Spongebob, incorporating lots of wit and humor with a classic road trip story that covers all the tropes, but also make fun of them as well in hilarious ways. I think that this animation is the perfect animation for the big screen as well as the story. I love the story inside of this film, though it is kind of cliche. Like I said, they make fun of those tropes a lot. And although we make fun of those tropes, the central story stands clear. It's okay to be a kid and have an inner child. And in the end, through their best efforts to be adults and mature, Spongebob and Patrick, it's their childish acts that save the day in an albeit awesome way with the finale. You know, the Goofy Goober song. I loved all of that. Also, I do love Plankton as a villain, though he is a great villain inside of the show. Just inside of this movie, he's so great because he actually wins in the beginning of the film. His whole Plan Z thing, I loved all of that. And let's not forget about David Hasselhoff, one of the greatest cameos, because he actually had something to contribute to the story. He helped them get right back to Bikini Bottom, and whereas the other cameos inside of sponge on the run happened they just happened to happen with snoop dogg and danny travail and also 
Keanu Reeves. They just happen. But inside of this film, they it happens for a reason, and they didn't overdo it. There's so much about this film that I love and I wish I could talk about it for hours, but the bottom line is this film should not have been as good as it was and it will always stand as a cult classic and as one of the best films ever made. This is why the Spongebob Squarepants movie has to come in at number one. Alright guys, that was it for the ranking. Please know that everything that I did say in this video was just my very own opinion. My list was certainly not the right list. It was just my list and you're free to comment down below your ranking of all Spongebob films ranked from the worst to the best just like me or you could just do your favorite. Please don't forget to check out that Twitter that's going to pop on your screen right now. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you all next time. Peace. <laughs>